Hi everyone, welcome to a small tutorial explaining how to import SRT files into Sony Vegas. The final result will look like the following. I have my video track and text medium which are automatically generated out of the text information which are saved in the SRT file. I have full access on the text medium so I can change the text easily afterwards. As you know, Sony Vegas doesn't offer a function to import SRT files directly, but here I want to show you an easy and simple way to solve that problem. Therefore, you just open the webpage of Vegasor.com. They developed a plugin which is called Text Generation Wizard. And with this plugin, you have the possibility to import SRT files into Sony Vegas as well as other subtitle formats. All you have to do is to download the installation file. So after you downloaded it, you just have to install the file now. It's a trial version that lasts about 30 days, I think. If you want to use the plugin for a longer period, you should buy the full version, of course. Choose where Vegasaur should be installed and continue. Here at the end, you can already see a description where you can start a plugin in Sony Vegas later on, but we'll get to that in a minute. I don't need a text file, so finish, and the plugin is already installed. As you know, SRT files are structured like this. At the beginning, there's a numbering, then a timecode, which defines how long the corresponding text will be shown later on. It's quite important that you keep this structure so you don't get any problems with importing. Later, I will work with a quite complex file. Here's important advice. You should save the SRT file before importing as UTF-8 Unicode, because otherwise you'll maybe get problems with certain special characters of foreign languages. Here's an example. So, we are back in Sony Vegas. To import subtitles now, you just go to View, Extensions, Vegasaur, Timeline and then choose the next generation wizard. So here you can choose the button for import subtitles now. And down here under Appearance you can choose a preset for a text format in which a text medium will be generated later on. I'll show you how to create a preset in a minute. So next step. I'm opening the SRT file which is stored on my desktop. I don't want to start at cursor position because the subtitles get positioned automatically from the timecode descriptions in the SRT file. I click on You Selected Track, which are already generated down here. Here you can choose a bin in which the new generated text medium could be saved if you want to do that. The three radio buttons should be all activated. OK, click on Finish and all the subtitles are imported at their right positions. Like I said at the beginning of the tutorial, you can easily change the text medium now. I also mentioned earlier that you can create any preset for the text size of your subtitles. Therefore, I can adjust everything to how I want it. Then up here I type in any name for the preset and press the Save button. So if I start the text generation wizard once again, I can choose under Appearance my newly created preset and all the subtitles will be imported and displayed in this defined format. At the end I'm just going to check if everything is alright with the timecode. Therefore I open my SRT file again. And as you can see the timecode is exactly the right one. So the plugin is doing exactly what it should do. So I hope this tutorial helped you a little bit. 
Thank you very much for your attention. See you soon. Bye.